A Swiss tourist allegedly went missing in Disneyland Paris after taking acid with his girlfriend. <laughs> and, uh, is that him? <laughs> and uh, the girlfriend told authorities, and they found him after midnight on the bank of a lake he had reportedly fallen into earlier. He was, he was later arrested for not being able to handle his buzz. <laughs> and uh, Tim, what do you want right now? <laughs> uh, David, I wish I could afford any type of drug. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the guy's at Disney World with his chick and they don't mm -hmm. have kids. It's like, he should be in jail for that. <laughs> uh, you're, you're in yeah. Paris. Go somewhere else. What are you, an animal? <laughs> I thought Parisians like hated Disney. I didn't even know there was a Disney I didn't know there was one either. I thought yeah. they were like cultural, classy people. You I, know. Know? I know, I forgot about Disneyland in Paris, Paris. completely. I had no idea. Girl, Disney, yeah. Who goes there to go there? I don't know. That's no. the thing. If you're there, you're like, I feel like it exists solely for terrorists to just chill them out, you yeah. know? Like, yeah. they go over there, they're like, all right, this isn't horrible. You know? Seven days there, and the last day they're getting on the plane, they're like, oh, we didn't go to the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, yeah. that's right. That's your two. Yeah, de radicalized them. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, this guy, I wonder how, in, how far into the report she got where they weren't really listening, and then she goes, and he's on acid. <laughs> like, oh, walkies are blowing up. But uh, I, I thought the girl was good because she was on acid and managed to organize a seek and rescue mission. She couldn't have just said her boyfriend was tired. She had to rat him out. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah right. this, is, this is why I'm a black man. I do my drugs in my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Very smart. Speaking of drugged up, we're all speaking of it. Uh, it's a drugged up world out there. Oof, don't get me started. Uh, a couple in Austria, not Australia, which I thought it was earlier, were expecting a box of uh, dresses. Instead, <laughs> bling, they got a box of 24,000 ecstasy pills. The woman, thought, the woman thought they were decorative pebbles. Uh, and a man took it to the local cops, because he's a puss. And uh, they didn't know what ecstasy was. I thought it was a my pillow. Um, <laughs> that's what's inside one. Uh, in fairness, I don't know what decorative uh, pebbles are, so I wouldn't know what these, these are. That was actually meant for Snoop's high school reunion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just don't think that Austrian couple's gonna work out when the woman's like, oh, they're decorative pebbles, and the guy knows, no, it's drugs, honey. Don't be stupid. Yeah, if you know what they're it is. They're living two different worlds, that couple. Yeah. I tell you, I didn't know they were. Well, so who orders a box of dresses? What are those freaks doing? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they should go to jail. <laughs> yeah. That's what they the pills. What kind of this... Hansel and Gretel type yeah. shit is going on? First of all, this would have never been a story if this was me, because I would have kept them. Yeah, it's not a story. I'm it's not like giving anybody. a box of money or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I would give money back. Uh, this is sort of boring, but an ad for her lifestyle brand, Poosh. Poosh? Was, was Puss already taken? <laughs> Kourtney Kardashian posted a picture of herself reading a book Oh, people went nuts over this. <laughs> we had to use the one photo where the book was right side up. Is that the Bible? <laughs> it is looks that... like the Holy Bible. What is that? I don't know. That's one of her. It's a... Jane Eyre, I think. <laughs> it's like a lifestyle brand. By the way, nothing uh, relaxes me more than sitting sideways in a square, empty tub. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she. That's not an aspirational moment. <laughs> no. Not an aspirational the, the lifestyle. The messed up thing about this is that she's an influencer, and now kids are going to start reading, and they're going to have back problems. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Let's not I push mean, the just, back problems. I mean, this bitch doesn't know how to get attention. Like, think of everything everybody else in that family's done. Like, she's reading, she dated <laughs> a guy named Scott. Like, that's not what the move is. <laughs> that's no. not what the move that's is. That's not it. I hate her. Yeah. This is... <laughs> <laughs> I like Chloe. I like the fat one who's now thin, but somehow still fat. <laughs> so well, also, one of her fans went to bat for her and reminded the haters that she went to college. Like, first of all, don't stick up for the Kardashians. They're never the underdog. Yeah, that's right. 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 And oh, this isn't a real it's Rudy a spelling story. bee. Come on. <laughs> well, come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I wonder. I wonder who told her what book she was reading. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it does look even faker that she opens it in the middle. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's like a fake. It's halfway move. through. They just hand it to her. Go. Oh. Go. <laughs> And she was selling a diff it was all to sell some diffusion oil that combined lavender, rose, and like peanut butter. Anything that smells like three things ain't a good thing. <laughs> I will say none of this reflects on Poosh, which has great products. Yes. <laughs> Poosh is oh, great. Separate from her. Click on. Wanna, I don't wanna. It's not. Well, this is just a long Poosh infomercial. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs>